Hey guys. So in today's video, we'll be checking out the missile launcher Paragon. It's called the Manhattan Project. It costs 48,750 gold. So yeah, let's uh, go into the match and see it. Alright guys, we are in the game, so let's place it down. Uh, let's place it here. As you can see, Mr. Ultra now has a basic black metal plate design. Which is not the best, but it's alright. Stats are also pretty bad. 8 damage every 4 seconds. Flash damage is kind of good. Bigger missile costs eight hundred and seventy five. Big damage increase, and yeah, that's about it. Oil slick launcher costs one thousand two hundred and fifty. Uh, slight damage increase, big fire rate reduced though, and that's about it. Missile replication costs two thousand one hundred and fifty. Slight damage increase, but fire frequency is reduced by a lot again. Slight range increase. And now we've got this purple glow to it. Next up is the nuke, which costs 5,250. Got a big damage increase. Slight fire frequency reduced. Bit of splash damage increase. A bit of range. But now the Paragon level called the Manhattan Project costs 32,500. As you can see, it looks really cool. And this one I can shoot two missiles instead of one. So these stats are basically. Well, the damage is double, so we've got 17, which is 140 really. Every 1.8 seconds, which is pretty good. Amazing slash damage of 40. Range is pretty decent. 50 is not bad. Yeah, so let's test this out against some cubes. Oh, we saw that one is not too good. I mean, it couldn't even take out a gold boss or other eyes. So we're going to place all eight of them down, just checking, so I don't make an error. Yeah, so I'll be back once I place all eight. All right, guys, we are back with all eight of the Manhattan projects. So instead of sending some cues, we're just going to go straight to some chaos waves. Because I've heard they do pretty good against uh, some cubes. So yeah, let's start with wave 27. So I forgot to mention another great thing about these guys. They can see metals and shadows pretty much level 2 or 3. But the upgrades to them are so cheap, it's basically nothing. Yeah, so anyway, let's move on to 30. So probably there's a boss there, so we can test out against bosses. As we can see, they're really good against spam. Because these lightning cubes basically are dead. And the purple cube bosses are getting destroyed. Oh, I was wrong, I guess there wasn't a boss in this way. Mm -hmm. 
But I definitely know there's a boss on wave 32, so let's try that out. At least I hope. Yep, I was right. It's not too tanky, boss. So it's a pretty good test, right? Now, I don't know if you guys want me in these views to ever use enhancers on campfires to see if they're good. Because I kind of want to just see them roll by themselves. But I've still got a few paragons to do, so if you want me to do that in the future, make sure to comment. Anyways, this guy seems to be dead. Uh, wave 35 should be another good wave. Probably there's a slightly bigger boss. Yeah, we've got a packed of life here. I don't think this should be a problem for them either. As you can see the explosion size is pretty good. They've done 2k splash damage to it alone. Without even targeting it. So he's got a very good splash damage dealers. I should be dead because they have a little bit of range left yeah. let's just wait for him to get over there yep yeah, so they just barely killed it Alright, so let's do one final test against a wave 40 to see if they can actually do it or if they can make some decent progress in it. Let's see. Sorry for the lag, I'm doing this on an iPad, so it's about to lag. Hopefully it's not too noticeable. It's been pretty good so far. Starting to slip though, first Hyper Giants got through. Another one got through. Mm. Yeah, okay. Well, the eels are all dead, I think. managed to kill all the eels which is pretty good and the, even this contrast I think yeah it's 
doing pretty good damage against the Rubik's King. Zephyrs might be dead. Yeah, these constructs are definitely getting in. In trying to remix is probably uh, it's lost a bit of HP. About a quarter of its health, not bad. And that's why we need a remix game. Let's see how much damage these guys can do against it. Even though they've only got a tiny bit of range left. Too bad. Might even get down to two hundred k before it leaves the range. Mm, it's healing a bit, so see so, you now. Yeah, just under two hundred and ninety three k. So basically, did. Well, if you count the heals, probably did around 70k damage to it in a short amount of time. So, if I send that alone, I probably could have killed it. So, not too bad for the price you pay for this. And in terms of getting this, I suggest you do get this because it's pretty good for the price you pay. I think it's mainly good for single targets and maybe a bit of uh, spam. And also just because right now it's pretty good for Nightmare like, no Key if that's something you like. But other than that, yeah, it's a pretty good Paragon to get. Maybe even your first one if you're really keen to get a cheap one. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously I know I've been gone for a few days, so hopefully I can get back in, but... Since I'm using voice now, it shouldn't take too long to edit these and add all the text. But if it's something you don't like and want me to go back to using text, then make sure to comment or 